I. We are Paragomi. We create templates for paper 3D wall art. And in this video, I will show you how to cut out one of our templates with your plotter. It is very simple. It takes a couple of minutes and it is hassle free. We will be using Silhouette Cameo 4 which is the newest model. It comes with an auto blade. With the auto blade, you don't have to manually adjust. It takes the setting of the chosen material in the program the Silhouette Studio when you send the job to your Silhouette machine. The auto blade will automatically be adjusted according to the selected setting from the software. Plug the plotter in and turn it on. Make sure that the Bluetooth is on. Connect Cameo via Bluetooth. Go to Bluetooth and other devices. Click on Add Bluetooth or another device. Choose Bluetooth and select Cameo 4. Now your plotter is connected. We can already load the material. Place the A3 sheet onto the pad and align it. If you need to move the roller to be over the pad, move the lever and press the key on it. Align the pad and hit load. Then you will have to install the software. Go to www.silhouetteamerica.com slash software Download the studio and install it. Open the program and get the working area ready. You need to be on the design tab and select the first icon page set up. Choose your machine in our case Cameo 4. Then feed type auto. We are using the large pad 30 by 60 centimeters and A3 format as the template is ready for A3. The next step is to get the template ready. For this tutorial, we are using Poragomi 0104 Cratering. You will get it at poragomi.com. Download the zip file and unpack it. Before importing, go to Edit, Preferences, Import and make sure that Open As Is is selected. This will import the DXF in the original scale. Now we will be working with the DXF files which are prearranged for the A3 format. If you want to set style and type for individual lines, use the files in the folder DXF sheet continuous. Now select the DXF from the folder, drag and drop it to the studio. Select it and rotate it. Hold the shift to rotate it 90 degrees. Then go to the send tab. Click on line options. Here you can set individual settings for each line. We will be cutting from the plain cardboard. The red line is the cut out line. Set it to cut. The other lines are for the numbers and for the folding lines. Those are set for the score. It will make it easy to fold it. You can keep the rest of the setting as it is. Make sure your plotter is connected and send the data to the plotter. The plotter will start the magic. First, it taps the paper a couple of times to verify the heights and it will set the blade sliding out. Then it scores the folding lines. And finally, it will do the cut lines. Once finished, the material is unloaded and ready to be collected. Easily peel the shapes. Thanks to the scored lines, the folding is easy. If you want to make the folding lines bashed, go back to the studio, select the design tab, Right mouse click on the DXF import and select Cun Group. Now you are able to select only the folding lines. Select them and go to the line style menu. And from the drop down menu choose the dashing style. Then when you follow the send tab, you can see that the lines will be dashed. And again, you can select cut or score again. 
Now let's see what are the files in the folder DXF sheets dashed. These DXF files have the folding lines already dashed. You can use these files for working with machines that do not support settings for individual lines. Once you drag and drop the DXF to the studio, you can then go straight to the send tab and send it to the plotter just like that. The plotter will make the lines dashed so that it is. It is not rocket science. Setting up the plotter is just like that. Takes no time, but saves you all the manual cutting. Thank you for watching and please visit www.porogomi.com to get the templates.